Hi guys, it's me Swastik and this is part 4 of how to make your own discord bot using python and in this video I'll be showing you more moderation commands like unban, mute and some auto moderation features like deleting a message when it contains a filtered word. So thank you all for 100 subscribers and to celebrate that I did a giveaway in my discord server and uh, this uh, I just did it today uh, and today was the July uh, today was the 4th of July and lone wolf won the giveaway and as you can see uh, they got their nitro today so if you want to win nitro as well hit the like button and subscribe and join the discord server in the description below because i'll be doing more giveaways in the future so let's begin now so let's make our unban command i'll just paste the command first and read and explain everything because it'll be faster so let's start with our decorator and client or command alias so i want the alias to be ub and the permission I want to check for is ban members. So someone who can ban members should be able to unban them as well. But you can change uh, this un uh, ban members to un uh, to administrator as well. So async def unban cdx asterisk uh, and asterisk and member. Now why am I doing this instead of uh, doing something like what I did in ban? Um, it's because we can once a member gets banned, he cannot be tagged. He cannot be mentioned. So what happens is you cannot do this. You cannot convert the member into a, into a discord or member object so instead what we'll do is we'll say something like um, hashtag unban and then the name of the user uh, and their discrimin and the hashtag and then the discriminator so for me it's 7370 and like this what we do is we'll uh, this is how we'll input the member name so let's just um, close that uh, let's just delete that now Band users equals await cdx dot guild dot bands. Now this will give us the list of the members who are banned. And now to get the member name and member discriminator separated, we need to use a method called member dot in a, a method of a string called split. Now what this does is it splits the string into two uh, parts, and those two parts get stored in um, member name and member description. So uh, not description discriminator. So once that's done, we can loop through every band entry in ba in the band users list. So once we start looping through, what's going to happen is we'll set the user to be the user in the band entry. And what we check for is if the name of the user, that is, um, if the name of the user is equal to the member name, it'll be like this. So the left, the first is going to be equal to this. And this will be equal to this so if the name is equal to the member name and also the user dot discriminator is equal to the member dot discriminator and so if the name and the discriminator is e are equal that means we found the person so what we do is we unban them by await cdx dot guild unban user and we also send that to the channel cdx dot send member name has been unbanned and then we return what return does is it uh, stops the command right there what that means is it will not execute anything else but let's say that the member was not equal right so if it was someone else what's gonna happen is it's gonna keep doing this till it's done with all the band entries and once it's done what's gonna happen is it's gonna say await cdx.send member was not found so this ensures that we know that the member was not found now let's save this and run the bot and I'll be back when the bot is ready so let's just um, ban someone because we need to unban them. So I'm gonna ban one of our moderators. Um, ban Olas because yes. As you can see, they just got banned. <laughs> and let's test our unban. I should have um, actually. I'm just gonna copy their name because I need to unban them. Let's uh, unban them now. Let's see if they get unbanned. As you can see, Olas has been unbanned. I'm just gonna send them the link and let's see if they can join back. So Olas just joined back and let me just give him his roles. And uh, yeah, so our unban works. Let's now mute people. To make the mute command, we need to make a role called muted. And to do that, just right click on your server, server settings and roles and uh, make a new row called muted and just save that and you don't need to change any permissions 
um, just close that now dino already made all this for us but what you need to do is go through every channel and um, edit channel and go to the permissions tab and add this muted role and make sure that it cannot send messages and not be able to add reactions so once that is done we can start coding now one thing just copy this ID because you'll need to check for that so let's just switch over to our code and let's begin so I wrote this code and it's simply uh, the alias and it's M and the permission I'm checking for is kick members because there is no permission like mute members so kick members I guess moderators can do that so they should be able to mute as well now the mute command is simply ctx and then I take the member as a discord member object now the muted role is equal to ctx.guild.get role and here you will add the ID that we copied from that muted role then we will just add the ID to the so we have to await it so await member dot add roles and the role that we're gonna give him is muted role the muted role so let's just give him this and let's just also send a confirmation so await ctx dot send uh, the member was muted so member dimension was muted member dimension now what this does is it will mention that member and say was muted has been muted is better has been muted and we can also make a similar one um, um, command where it's unmute where we can simply replace this to um, delete roles I think uh, and if I'm wrong I'll be displaying it right here uh, and you can un uh, you can unmute them and just say has been unmuted so let's just see if it works let's save that let's run our bot and I'll be back when the bot is ready so the bot is ready now and let's just mute someone I'm just gonna mute um, some random person I'm gonna mute this person and let's see if they have the role as you can see they got muted and they shouldn't be able to um, talk so let's I can test it but I'm sure it's, they shouldn't they wouldn't be able to talk so you can mute people like this now for let's start auto moderation features so to make moderation uh, auto moderation what we'll do is have a list of filtered words filtered words now you could either do this um, through a list or loading it from a text file like I'm loading the rules in um, I'm just gonna do it through this list so I'm gonna have so I'm gonna uh, say let's say cat and dog so whoever says this will be the message will be deleted so if the message contains cat or dog the message will be deleted now you could have actual swear words in there but I'm just gonna keep it simple for now uh, so what we're gonna do is have a event that's called on message so whenever a message is uh, sent to the bot like if the bot can see that message like anywhere in the guild in the server uh, this will be executed so what we'll do is go through for message so for a word in filtered words uh, in filtered words if I can get that what's gonna happen is we'll check if the word is in the um, message dot content actually I forgot to do this inside these parentheses you need to add message so this is the message that has been sent so message dot content so if the word is there what we'll do is delete the message now to delete the message just do msg like message dot delete that's it but we need to await it so await msg dot delete now after this you need to make sure that you make sure that you add this because otherwise the bot will not work everything else that we've done will not work because it will not process the commands so it's simply client dot process uh, process commands process commands and I'm not sure if I have to await it or not I'm just gonna be uh, I'm just gonna be awaiting it I think so let's save that I think you have to await it because it's a it's a, it's a Korean object so let's save that and let's run the bot and when it's online I'll be back so one thing uh, you need to uh, add this message right here uh, inside these parentheses you need to process those messages so let's just save that and redo the bot again so the bot is ready right now and let's just um, write I like cats okay I like cats as you can see the bot deletes the message immediately I like dogs um, as you can see the <laughs> bot deletes the message if I just say dog it will just delete the message as well and as you can see 
uh, we just ban the word just because uh, let's now you can actually replace these words with useful words like swear words and um, have them delete them like the have the bot delete those messages so that's it for today guys um, hope you enjoyed if you did hit the like button and subscribe and uh, the like go for the next video for the next video is uh, 20 likes actually 20 likes yeah uh, if we get 20 likes i'll make the new video and uh, hit the subscribe button and join my server and we'll i'll meet you next time goodbye